Hello, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video we're going to be asking the question, can I play classical guitar without fingernails? I might have a job or a life where fingernails just don't work for me, or I might have something funny with my nails, hooks and ridges or flakes or whatever. Can I play without nails? Are, are nails essential to classical guitar? That's the question of the day and we'll get into it. If you enjoy this video, please do subscribe with the big red button down below and let's jump in. So first off, why would you play with nails? What are the benefits of nails? Nails give us on nylon string guitars, what nails do is they allow us to have more control and variation in the tone quality. So if you listen to, we can have versus and I'm staying in the exact same place on the guitar. You can also go way back here by the bridge and get it very harpsichordish or very warm and rich. There's all these different things. We can have really punchy, bright sounds and that's what nails give us is this variation. It's also maybe louder and we can project the sound further. Now, there's also downsides to nails, and these are, we have to take care of them. They can rip off, which can be very painful and then very frustrating if we have longer nails on all the fingers except one, and so then it's like, you know, having a flat tire driving along, and it's like, you know, there's this sound that is now different in our hand, and so it can be really frustrating whenever there's something wrong with the nails. It also, just growing them and getting them shaped right and all this kind of stuff, it can just be an ongoing thing. Many people have problem nails, weird shapes to the nails that don't activate the strings as well as some other ones, uh, you know, flaking nails, thin nails, overly rigid nails, overly flexible nails, all these different things. So then the question is, can we just get rid of nails altogether? And the answer is, Absolutely. There is no rule that says you have to use fingernails on classical guitar. They're actually a fairly new addition to the guitar. For many, many moons, people did not play with nails. And so let's just take a look at how this is different in the hand. I'm just flipping my guitar upside down here where I am, where I'm not a proficient player in this way, but um, but I sometimes will do this just to remember what it's like to not know what I'm doing here. But if we look at this, we can still use the exact same right hand motions, which is pushing from the big knuckle in. So pushing through this with the big knuckle into the string to make a nice, and then letting the tip joint stay more or less passive instead of hooking up like this. If we hook up like this, it's gonna sound bad. And this, this is true with nails or without. So if you with the technique, if you pull up on a string like this, it's gonna be thin and brittle sounding, so it's not gonna sound good anyway. But we can get a very rich, round sound by pushing through the string with the big knuckle and just letting that follow through. And what we're gonna find is that it's very easy to have a consistent tone, it's easier to have a consistent tone with no nails than it is to have nails. Now, we don't have as much uh, variation and options as far as tone color and everything. I mean, we can still get brighter down here versus up here, but it's not, it's not as big of a difference. We can also, and I've uh, spoken of this elsewhere, we can use the attack, we can use the tip joint to, if it's really passive tip joint and really flowing through and the motion is slow, it can be a softer tone and then a more rigid tip joint even with the same action, can be a punchier tone. So we can still affect the tone without nails. It's just we really have to use our, our motions and our fingers to do it. So it's, it's a different way. There's certainly different pros and cons to both ways. But the main thing is use your hands well. So move from the big knuckle. Work on your classical guitar technique so that you can just be getting better with your hands. And that way, in the future, you can always grow nails if you would like to, if your situations change. Or you can just play without nails. Lute players play without nails all the time and sometimes will lick their fingers before playing. Um, 
and that way it kind of softens the tip up a little bit and then makes a just a warmer sound. So you don't have to lick your fingers if you're playing without nails, but you have the option to. Of course, you can lick your, your fingernails as well. All right, so moving out of that rabbit hole and into the next one, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and I hope this helps. Bottom line, just play guitar. If you'd like to have nails, they're great. If you don't want to have nails or if they're being really hard for you, play anyway and just cut your nails really short. All right, have fun. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.